Hi, so Pierre Besserill, thank you for joining us. You've just done a, a presentation here at Head in Madrid on the uh, alternative lodging, vacation rentals and hotels in Europe. Uh, your company, Transparent, is based here in Madrid. Um, tell us a little bit about, from your experience, where you sit, see the key differences between uh, uh, vacation rentals and, and hotels, especially around your area. One of the things we, we wanted to show the audience today is that uh, alternative accommodation can no longer be, be ignored and that differences are getting you know, uh, smaller and smaller. So you know, you see lengths of stays are getting shorter and shorter, just like hotels. Uh, booking windows are getting more and more similar. The inventory type is also getting very similar. So a lot of apartments, a lot of you know, hotel-like inventory. So we think that you know, the frontier is getting thinner and thinner between both worlds. Right, right. And um, if the market keeps growing year over year, at what point do you see that the market will get saturated? Uh, we don't think it's going to get saturated, it's, it's just going to slow down. So we've already seen slow down in some of the more mature markets. You know, the US and Europe has been growing a bit more, a bit less aggressively than, than previous years, but it's still like a 30% growth on inventory on the main OTAs, which is not, you know, neglectable. Um, we just think it's just going to slow down and align a bit more with the hotel, uh, hotel growth. Right, so the hotels really should be considering the vacation rental side of the industry as a real threat to their, their, their inventory or to their opportunity. So I wouldn't say a threat because it's not something new, it's been around for, for many years, but it's something that grows faster. So, you know, I, I, we, we do think it's necessary to track it because you actually are competing with this inventory. Uh, you know, 60% of travelers consider uh, alternative accommodation as one way of, of, uh, of booking the lodging um, when they look at a travel. So it's definitely something that is there, that is in everyone's mind and that as you track your hotel competitors, we think you got to track your vacation hotel competitors. Right, right. You mentioned in, the state, in your speech that there's not enough pricing data on short-term rentals. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you see the boundary there and how far away do you think we are from having a holistic comp set? That's a very good question. That's something we're working on at, at Transparent and one of the reasons why we created the company three years ago is sort of to break this problem of opacity on short-term rental. Short-term rental is extremely fragmented and that's, how, that's why it's so hard to, to gather data and that's what we're solving with technology. So we're actually releasing a product that's going to be uh, live in June, July, mm -hmm. so in the next couple of months, um, to help hotels understand directly what is happening in terms of, of demand and, and rates and as well supply in the alternative accommodation market. Okay, great. Well, Pierre, nice to meet you. All nice to best. meet you. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.